Okay, what I have here today is a 1969 Boston Water 13 foot sport. Um, taking the carpet out, it's kind of a mess. Got half the carpet out right there on that side. Took me about two or three hours of work. Uh, used acetone, a razor scraper, steel wool, and a little screwdriver for some corners. But I'm going to show you how I did this. There's the old piece right there. So here we go. Alright, the first thing you want to do is start just tearing up the carpet. Make sure you get the backing too. That's just the carpet, that's the backing. There it is. Second carpet out. Next, you just want to start scraping out the old glue. I'm using a scraper for this. And I'm using a scraper because this boat's going to be repainted sooner or later in the future. And the uh, the current finish is not that great on it. It's got two coats of two different coats of paint on it, it's got cracks, dings, and things everywhere. So just use, just use a scraper. And this boat was painted about 30 years, 35 years ago, so it needs to be repainted again. Uh, this is just the way I'm doing it. You know, you could do it a different way. But this is, this is what I did on the other side. It worked out pretty well. Just wanna get out most of the glue debris. As you can, just work it out. Try not to gouge fiberglass. Then again, you know, this boat needs to be painted anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. This boat's got a lot of other problems besides a, a few small gouges. Straight better from this direction. You just try to get out as much of the old glue as possible from the carpet, make it a lot easier when you're using the acetone or the steel wool or even when you're using the 2000 grit sandpaper to kind of give it a gloss and that's real hard glue right there it's real easy glue Just keep cleaning as you're going.
this is an issue I'm going to have to deal with down the road. All the wires for the uh, navigation lights were put underneath the carpet and run along here. I'm going to have to come, come back at a later date and put them behind the rub rail and run them up. So right now I'm just going to put these in tape so they don't contact each other. And this is for the navigation lights. This is just the way the former owner did it. It's not the best way. Not the right way anyway. Just be careful. I don't want to break the wire. I just want to break the seal it has with the glue. Okay. Side's actually coming out easier than the other side did. This glue right here is still kind of gummy. All this glue that came out quick was really kind of dried. But this right here is kind of gummy still. This is about 30 year old carpet glue. This carpet's been in there that long. I'm gonna speed it up right now. All right, everybody. Um, so far, that much has come off. Probably, probably about half of it using the scraper. No problems yet. The, the glue that's really dry is coming out real nice. The gummy glue is a problem. Uh, it's usually tougher in the seams, along the edges, and the cracks there. Since it's not flat, but uh, I'm gonna keep at it. It started to rain a little bit, so I got to move my camera angle. But you can see how just nasty that 30 year old carpet glue is. Hopefully, it won't take that much longer. Try to get a, uh, a top down angle now. Since it's raining. All right, this is about um, an hour and a half of work right here. I had to break out the, the acetone to get out the really fine glue that won't scrape. So all in here, I had to use acetone. Probably going to have to use it in there. I'm going to scrape this some more and then probably use some more steel wool on it. But it's coming out pretty good. That's how it looks. So... Probably about another hour and I'll be done. I'm gonna go take a break now. Alright, I'm gonna try to finish this area up right here. It's getting kind of cold now. Put a coat on. 
and I'm going to time lapse it from here. Got all the areas cleaned up pretty good. The glue is probably 98% gone. There's still a little spots left here and there. Now I'm going to wet sand it with 1000 grit and then 2000 grit sandpaper to give it a more shiny feel and get rid of some of the, the finer residue. Well, that's it all done you know there's still probably some areas I could use a little bit more sanding maybe some more steel wool but I'm fine with this result that's a lot better than how it was a little, still a little bit of glue we'll get that off that's no problem but I just wanted to document the way I did it you know, sure, some people wouldn't use a razor blade on their boat, but the fact is, is this boat was repainted once before. It's got areas in it that are a lot worse off. Those holes, some cracks. There's even areas of this boat where, I don't know if you can pick it up there, but there's two different paint colors on the boat. So, if this was pristine gel coat, I would not have scraped it with a razor blade. But, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.